We always hear that phrase, don't reinvent the wheel, but what if the wheel needs reinvented? Believe it or not, the wheelchair hasn't been changed much in nearly 300 years. And on the heels of July 4th, I share one of my favorite new inventions, helping so many of our incredible veterans. The iBot, a high-tech wheelchair that can put individuals back at eye level for a handshake, go over any terrain, and even climb stairs with no assistance. We surely can't give back what they gave to us, but maybe the least we can do is support them through technology by way of mind-blowing innovations. It's technically possible. I'm Katie Lenadol, and I'm always on the hunt for the latest innovations in technology, especially the ones that can truly impact people's lives. You'll find some of the most amazing gadgets that you never heard of in this series, so let's go. As a techie, I grew up fascinated with Dean Kamen. He has over 1,000 patents and so many inventions, from the insulin pump to the Segway. But I recently came across my favorite invention of Dean's by way of my friends at the Robert Irvine Foundation. From a big, proud military family and a huge supporter of our vets, I learned about the iBot, helping so many of our wounded veterans through the VA. I went to Dean's New Hampshire facility to meet with him and his teams to see the device and what he's been working on for decades. And get this, he landed on his own helicopter right on the roof to tell me about it firsthand. Come along and learn with me about one of my favorite inventions ever created that is truly changing people's lives. Oh, and P.S., speaking of the 4th of July, one of my favorite holidays, stay tuned as I share a throwback to a patriotic performance on Fox & Friends where we raised $10,000 towards an iBot for a veteran. Stay tuned to the end of this video and you can watch me sing. An iBot is the only mobility product that combines all of the mobility and features to get someone with a disability from point A to point B from one device. What makes an iBot different is it's a very compact device which has all the features and functions in it to give someone a lot more mobility. So we have programs that help millions of people. The iBot is one of the many projects that we've worked on, in this case, for 20 years. It's one of the many projects that we're very proud of, but it's unique in many ways, one of which is it's the one that gives you the absolute most instant gratification. You gave back a major piece of their life their independence, their access, their dignity. It's awesome. So the thing about the iBot, it has a lot of technology all wrapped into a very small, lightweight, and compact package. There's actually six different modes on the device. There's driving modes, which include a standard wheelchair operating mode, a stair climbing mode, a four-wheel mode for going on terrain and climbing curbs and inclines, and a stair mode where you can climb curbs. There's also two unoccupied modes, one where you can operate the device remotely to transfer in and out of bed, put it in and out of an unmodified motor vehicle, and a docking mode where you can actually lock it down a car in a car and drive it. This is probably the most sophisticated fly-by-wire, autonomous-capable, human payload carrying robot you'll ever see. It go up and down stairs and through sand and snow. I was leaving my office here, and I went into the mall, and I see this guy, sure he was a special forces guy, in a wheelchair. And I realized he isn't even at a level to do an appropriate transaction. And I just looked at that and said, this is unbelievable. iBots are amazing. You'll see a veteran carried into this building by three or four people just to get them up. And then they'll transfer a person that might not have been able to look you in the eye for the last 20 years into an iBot. And most of all, they leave here with dignity because they're looking at people eye to eye and they're back to being closer to what they were before they lost the ability to walk. I took the iBot on several national TV programs to help raise awareness and help fundraise for a veteran in need of an iBot in my hometown. We were asked to perform on Fox & Friends for their July 4th special. What an incredible opportunity. Have a look. Well, maybe you know somebody that could use an iBot. I'd love for you to share this video. And if you like this video, I hope you can stay tuned for more amazing technologies. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, I appreciate when you hit the like button. I'm Katie Linnadahl. Stay tuned and don't give up the ship.